What's up, guys? This your boy Flexington and Curry, and we back again with some more breaking hip hop news for that ass. All right, this time we here with Mr. Cash Money artist himself, Jacquees, and Miss Booed Up, Ella May. All right, so I know you guys been seeing what's going on. All right, so Jacquees did a remix of Ella May's Trip, but she made it taking she made him take it down. And they did a cease, and she um had a cease and desist letter, so they could take it down because he was outperforming her song, and he was getting way more views than LMA, so she was kind of player hating. Can we say player hating? Player hating. All right. So I'm gonna read a little bit of this article, but the thing is, he put the jank on Pornhub. <laughs> it's crazy. Let's get into this article. Jacquees is known for remixing other artists' songs, but it appears one of the singer's unofficial remixes may have gotten too popular. According to multiple reports, Jacquees was forced to remove his remix of LMA's trip from YouTube and SoundCloud after reportedly being hit with the cease and desist, according to Newsweek. The singer's Quee mix reportedly started outperforming LMA's version on streaming services, which led to rumored cease and desist. Jacquees acknowledged the removal of his music with a series of crying face emojis on Twitter. Quee also claims to not have made a single cent from his remix of the song and fired back at T-Pain on Twitter after the artist alleged he was making money from the song. No, nigga, I didn't, t I didn't laugh out loud. Hell you talking about, my brother? I put it on SoundCloud and YouTube. You know my game ain't cap. I love Ella, Jacquees tweeted. Mustard, who signed the singer to his 10 summer record imprint, claimed or chimed in on Instagram to defend Ella May and claimed she was not the origin of the cease and desist. Our artists don't send cease and desist. We do, he said. When you, mon when you monetize content you don't own, you are stealing and no one steals from 10 summers. Ella had no say in the matter. Any platform reporting differently is spreading falsities this is simply a press or marketing plan or some other strategy to deviate from the narrative the ella is breaking records left and right because the music she's making us is cutting through straight to fans and to rate people haven't seen in years ella's career started by doing covers and we support all her fans and fellow artists doing the same Mustard's issue certainly seems to stem from the fact that he believed jacques was monetizing his cover of ella songs of Ella's song. Jacquees' team also released a statement to Billboard emphasizing that Jacquees' Quee mixes are something he has done frequently for a long time. For the new people who are just catching up to Jacquees, he's an artist that has become very controversial for no reason, it reads. We love Ella and are cool with her team as well. He has been releasing not only Quee mix songs, but entire projects with remixes of other artists' songs, ranging back to 2003. Okay, let's start right there. So Lil Wayne been doing this thing for years. Mostly all his mixtapes, he's doing basically rapping over people's beats. Now, I think the whole thing is because Jacquees is, you know what I mean, just getting way more views than her. Like, you know what I mean? People do this type of stuff every day, but as soon as somebody you know, overshadows the original person, it's a problem. But you know what? Jacquees put it on Pornhub. So you can find Jacquees' Queen Mix to LMA's trip or boot up on Pornhub. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for instant notifications when I upload some new content. This your boy Flexington Curry, and I'm out.